right, so I have quite a bit to do. This is just gonna be like a, uh, a record of the things I need to do. I definitely want to get the heat working because that seems kind of important where I live, even though it's hot this week. So I'm gonna get that done. My plan for this, because it's the perfect width of an iPhone 5S and a little longer, and I do not want to cut the dash, and I don't want to pay $300 for a radio that fits in here just to Bluetooth through my phone all the time. So I'm gonna make a black Kydex kind of frame that fits in here with an iPhone 5S shaped hole in it, and then mount the 5S to the back and have touchscreen iPhone 5S-ness. And then the line out for the headphone jack will go into a volume knob, just like on the Miata. The volume knob will go out to an amp, probably under the seat. And then from the amp with key on power, we'll send speakers out to the footwells and some out to the back. That's gonna be my next project coming up. I just need to find a 5S for cheap on Craigslist. And then I want to purchase whatever I need to get the heat working. I know I'm missing a couple of knobs here. So I'm gonna get those and replace whatever else is missing and repair what I can so I don't have to buy new stuff. And then that way I'll have heat and defrost. The wipers work at least. I need a speedometer cable. The fuel gauge is off. It, it'll say like just over half full when it's actually full. The temperature gauge is not yet working. I think it may be one of the wires in the dash is wrong when they put this back in for restoration or paint or something. I would like to do a motor tranny swap with an automatic just because of the four door and stick shift just and four door never seemed right to me. So I'm looking at like a Caprice or a mid 90s Camaro with the LT1 and the 4L60 probably or even a truck if it has the LT in it. The interior's okay, the headliner is a little rough. Need to get a dome light. So I'm probably gonna redo the headliner with something a little more, I don't know, flannel maybe, something cool. And then the seats are white and green even though the interior is black and white. So it doesn't annoy me yet, but I'm sure eventually it will. Otherwise, that's about it for the Bel Air, other than I wanna put a lowering block kit in the rear and cut a coil off of the front springs just to get about a two inch drop. I need to get my wheels and tires first so that I know how high and how low it needs to be. And then I think I'm gonna paint the outside, change the red and white paint to a teal and white patina. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for tuning in guys. Welcome back to season eight. Click the like button if you liked the video, click subscribe if you wanna subscribe. And as always guys, Keep on modding.